so we lived there after World War II uh, until about 1948. Uh, I don't know the exact month, but I think it might have been like October, November time frame. We managed to escape. My dad uh, had his own car. He, he uh, uh, used it as a, a taxi service. Uh, another friend of theirs, uh, they had two daughters, and uh, he, he, the, the other man also had uh, his own car. And I believe that there was a third vehicle with a couple in it. I don't know them, but I think those people knew what was going on and what was going to happen. Uh, years later, I learned from my dad that the communists had a saying that, are you with us? If you're not, you're against us. So now you have a big decision to make. Do you want to be with them and create a lie? Or do you want to be free? And if that's the case, then you have to leave. And you, can, you have to leave while you can. Because, you know, every country has a border, and there are patrols on borders. But I think they must have known something, because we were able to drive through the night into the morning toward the German uh, side of the border, and uh, light was already breaking, and uh, you sense like you're a little bit afraid, because how are you going to make, how, how are you going to cross, cross the Czech border, if, if there are guards there, and there were no guards on the Czech border as we crossed. And we, we, we went into the German border and met the American patrols, and they showed us where to go. Now, one of the things, that, stepping back a little bit, before this happened, we're leaving home. Imagine being a little guy uh, going around nine years old, and uh, you know something is up when you're awakened in the middle of the night, which is very unusual, told, hurry up and get dressed. We're, go we're going to go on a trip. And I recollect my mom telling me, we're going to go to grandma's. Now, that sounded good to me to go to grandma's. But one thing that I thought was very unusual was that I couldn't take with me my coloring pencil book and a, and a beautiful case of coloring pencils. Now, it do, you put two and two together, it doesn't make sense. Why am I going to grandma and I can't take my favorite coloring pencils and coloring book? Well, as, as I found out later, that's, that's because we were escaping. Uh, what, what, what we actually did is uh, me, my parents, and two brothers. And we left with two suitcases. Uh, we were approaching the border with Germany and, and, and the light was breaking at, in the, at the dawn. And uh, noticed that there were no uh, patrol patrols posted on the uh, Czech side of the border, and we just kind of drove right through it. It was open, and uh, several hundred feet uh, was the German border, and there we were met by American soldiers, who then directed us uh, where to go next uh, to 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 the nearby uh, facility. Uh, we learned. Subsequently, of course, this is what my dad told me, that later that morning there was heavy guards posted on the Czech border, so any escape attempts then would have been impossible. Now, we also learned subsequently that there were other people that made their escapes even after the borders was officially closed and guarded. Uh, one individual in particular had a uh, farm truck, and he filled the doors with concrete, and he welded steel plates pr to protect themselves inside the cab of the truck from any bullets. And as they as they approached the border, they he gunned the engine all the way down to the floor on the gas pedal, and they all ducked and broke right through the border. So those folks made it. But those are very un very unusual circumstances. We also heard later that there were some individuals that had scuba diving equipment that would take people across for a fee and they would uh, go submerged under the border at lakes or rivers and that's how they were able to lead others to freedom. Uh, it's interesting to note what people will do to be able to achieve freedom 
from a system that wants to imprison you. All right, go, uh, going now forward uh, to our, uh, let's call it a trip through Germany. An unexpected trip, but nevertheless a trip we had to make. Uh, we were sent through various camps. To put it very simply, we were immigrants. We were escaping. And so we were directed through various camps through Germany. And uh, I guess my parents felt that the food was somewhat scarce. Uh, there wasn't a lot of food going around. I remember one particular day where we thought we had a treat because my uh, mom was able to uh, get her hands on a couple of onions and uh, we, the bread that we had uh, with the margarine, uh, there was no, no, no way to get any butter, but she, you know, we put margarine on, on two pieces of bread and slices of onion between them. It was uh, unbelievably good. Uh, in one particular camp, and I, I, I think maybe this is when my dad uh, traded his camera for some money, and uh, he, he, brought, he brought back a bottle of Coke, which we shared, and that was really special, because it was an American product, and it was the first time that I tasted Coke, Coca-Cola in 1948. Remembering what those camps looked like, I'm convinced they must have been former American or prison camps of captured soldiers, uh, etc., uh, flyers, maybe French soldiers as well, but anyway, uh, they, were, they were just barracks and uh, they had uh, uh, a, a double layer bunks, some of them had three layer bunks, uh, all, all wood, uh, and this was uh, through the entire country of Germany, the direction they were going, uh, working our way toward the ocean um, in the direction of England. We went through various camps. Uh, uh, as, as the immigration committee was working our, our way toward the ocean to uh, be, be aboard a ship to take us out of Germany. And uh, we finally ended up in a, uh, uh, near the city of Hamburg, uh, uh, Bre sorry, Bremerhaven, which is a port of Bremen. Haven is port. Bremerhaven was port of Bremer. Bremer. Um, <clears throat> we waited a, f a few months. I don't have the exact time frame because I, at that age I really didn't know how to keep track of time. But we waited and waited for a visa to come to the United States and nothing was coming through and my dad was worried about uh, running out of any extra money to uh, get some extra foods for us and uh, they, my dad, my mom, they decided to take a, a chance on a visa to Brazil. 